Installing the Kohler Revel Sliding Shower Door. This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation and care instructions packed with your product for important safety information, required tools, and detailed installation instructions. Warning! Risk of serious injury. Damage prior to installation can result in glass shattering. Inspect the glass and all parts for damage before installation. After installation, regularly inspect the glass and all parts for damaged, missing, or loose parts. Proper fit and function of the sliding doors is dependent on accurate measurements of the header and threshold. Measure all components carefully before cutting. Measure the distance between the two walls along the shower ledge. Mark this distance on the threshold. Then make a second mark 3 8 inch to the inside of the first mark. Cut the threshold at the second mark and file any rough edges. Center the threshold on the ledge with the tall side facing out. Snap the center guide into place on the threshold and position the threshold on the ledge so the center guide and threshold are fully supported by the ledge. The threshold must sit flat. If needed, file the ends of the threshold to fit the corner radius of the shower. Note there are two bottom bumpers and two threshold covers, one set for the left side and one set for the right side of the threshold. Dry fit the threshold covers to the threshold. If needed, use a coin to match and transfer the corner radius of the shower to the threshold covers. Then, dry fit the bottom bumpers to the threshold covers. If needed, use a coin to match and transfer the corner radius to the bumpers. Once the threshold, threshold covers, and bumpers sit flat against the ledge and wall, confirm the center guide and threshold are still fully supported by the shower ledge. Use a pencil to mark the location of the threshold. Remove the center guide from the threshold, then remove the threshold. Apply 100% silicone sealant to the bottom of the threshold, then reposition it along the mark you made earlier. Tape the threshold in place. Apply 100% silicone sealant to the back of the threshold covers and position them on each end of the threshold. Slide the bumpers onto the threshold covers. Use an alcohol wipe to clean the walls where the wall jams will be installed. Place the clear plastic wall jam into the threshold cover groove with the backing side against the wall. Ensure that the wall jam is plumb at the top, middle, and bottom. Tape the wall jam in place. Then use a pencil to mark the position of the jam. Remove the tape holding the jam in place. Remove the backing and press the wall jam into place gradually, from bottom to top, making sure to stay in line with the marks on the wall. Repeat these steps and install the other wall jam. Slide the drill template on top of the wall jam so the number 1 faces out. Confirm the drill template is plumb. Then mark two diagonal holes. Drill 5 16 inch holes at the marked locations. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished wall. Remove the template and install the anchors into the holes. Insert the cleat into the template above the number 1. Slide the template onto the top of the wall jam with the number 2 facing out. Install the two screws through the template. Remove the template and ensure that the cleat is level. If the cleat is not level, loosen the screws and adjust the cleat until it is level. Note that the cleat does not line up with the edge of the wall jam. This is the correct way to install the cleat. Repeat these steps and install the other cleat. Once both cleats are installed, wipe down the cleats and the wall jams. Important! Confirm all measurements before cutting the header. Do not cut the header too short. 
Measure the distance between the two walls above the cleats. Mark this distance on the header. Then make another mark, 1 32nd inch to the inside of the first mark. Cut the header at the second mark. File any rough edges and clean any debris from the header channels. Fit the header over the cleats and ensure it is fully supported by the cleats. Either side of the header can face out. There must be no more than a quarter inch gap between the header and each shower wall. At each end of the header, insert and twist a bumper into place over the track, then slide the bumpers against the cleats. Before installing the doors, confirm the header is fully supported by both cleats. Caution! Risk of personal injury. If the header is not fully supported by both cleats, the panels may disengage from the header. Slide a bushing over the top of each glass panel and into each mounting hole. Press the hanger bracket over the bushing and align the highest holes of each bracket and bushing. Identify the inside door panel. The inside panel does not have holes in the glass for a towel bar. Assemble a roller to the highest hole of each hanger bracket on the opposite side of the panel as the label. Then tighten the screw using a screwdriver so there is no gap between the panel and the bracket. Do not use a drill to tighten. Lift the inside panel onto the inside track at the roller insertion areas so the label faces outside of the shower. On the outside panel, assemble a roller to the highest hole of each hanger bracket on the same side as the label. Then tighten the screw using a screwdriver so there is no gap between the panel and the bracket. Do not use a drill to tighten. Lift the outside panel onto the outside track at the roller insertion areas so the label faces toward the outside of the shower. Measure and mark the center of the threshold. Rotate and snap the guide into place on the threshold. Slide the doors into the channels of the guide. Center the guide on the threshold. While holding the guide in place, slide the doors from wall to wall and ensure both door panels roll smoothly. Close the door panels with the inside panel closest to the shower head. Confirm both panels are even with the wall jams. If either panel needs adjustment, remove the door and reposition the roller to one of the other holes in the hanger bracket. Moving the roller down will raise the glass, while moving the roller up will lower the glass. Once the doors are correctly adjusted, apply 100% silicone sealant to the bottom and base of the guide. Press the guide into place at the center mark on the threshold. Immediately wipe away any excess sealant. Tape the guide in place inside and outside the shower. On the outside panel, install a spacer on each side of the panel and secure the towel bars with the screws. Tighten the screws with a hex wrench. Do not over tighten. Slide both doors to the shower head end of the shower. Use an alcohol wipe to clean the area on the inside panel across from the towel bar post. Ensure the panels are still aligned. Then remove the backing from the thicker knob and press the knob firmly into place directly across from the towel bar post. Slide the panels apart. On the inside panel, Use an alcohol wipe to clean the area opposite the knob. Then remove the backing from the thinner knob and press the knob firmly into place directly across from the other knob. Clean up any pencil marks along the wall jams and threshold. To complete the installation, apply 100% silicone sealant along the inside and outside of the wall jams, around the bottom bumpers, and along the outside edge of the threshold. Allow the sealant to cure according to the manufacturer's instructions before using the shower.